In PowerDirector 18, let's have a look at messing with your text. Because when you're making videos, whether it be for YouTube or whatever you're making them for, you're always going to need text. And they do give us a lot of options here. On the T on the left, I normally, I usually don't use all these. I usually just grab the first one and uh, I bring it down. Now, when I expand this, okay, Anything I add to this, like keyframes or anything like that, it's going to make it a lot slower. But I'm making it bigger so you can see. Now, when I click on it, notice it's highlighted in green or blue on your screen. The top one highlights in blue. This one's is highlighting in green. But as long as it's highlighted, it means we're working with it. Now, I can double click on this and go into the designer. Or I can click up here and go into the designer. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Now, once you're in here, we got a lot going on. And you really need to take your time and just kind of, just start clicking stuff in here and see what it does. Like, for example, I've got my title here. And uh, I'm going to put this over here for now. But what if I want to add another one? You know, I want to put another one. Well, up here, there's a plus T kind of hidden out of the way. If I click that, I've now got another text, okay? So I could now put that one someplace where I want to put this one. We'll put it up here. What if I want to add another one? Yep, just click on that. And uh, now I've got more than two. And that allows me to add multiple texts within the page I'm messing with, okay? And we'll put that up there. Now, I've even got a place here where it says insert particle effects. Um, I can insert an image even if I want. So I can put another image in there. And insert background if I want to have a background on it. This is to make them bigger, zoom in, move things around, drag them. So that's, and I'm not in basic mode. I'm always, see, basic mode removed everything. I'm in advanced mode. So I got a whole bunch more is what I have going on. So that's kind of neat. Now these arrows on the left is I'm going to close these up. Okay. And I'm not in effect. I'm not in motion. I'm in object. So this is what I'm working with. Now, whichever text we're working on, and I'm working on my title, single click on it or double click to make sure the whole thing is highlighted in blue. This means we're now working on this one. If I open my character sets, then when I come down here, notice I got a whole bunch of fonts I could choose. It's amazing. You know, different colors, everything I want. Now, if I want something different up here, I click on that one want something different over here I'll double click this one so I, I can get pretty creative now when I'm done with my character sets I'll simply click this little arrow and close it now I'll go into font paragraph and this allows me to select different fonts and we're working on this one because it's highlighted so if I want a different font and I got a mess of them I'll tell you I got so many fonts it's crazy so now I can actually double click. I can change my fonts to whatever I want, even the color. Like if I want a different color, I can say, okay, give me pink. Pink, 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 pink. So now I'm in pink. See that? So that's pretty cool. When you're done messing with this, close the font face. And then move on to, let's look at border. Okay, so what is border? Let's uh, make sure it's highlighted. And let's size it up. So we're making the border around the text a little bit thicker. You see that? So that's kind of cool. We can blur it. We can opacity it. Which means make it more dimmer. Make it more stronger. You know, that type of thing. Is what it is. Okay, so let's close the border now. Let's go into shadow. Now some of these are pre-selected because of certain fonts you've selected in character preset in order to achieve these particular texts on the screen here in PowerDirector 18. 
again we got uh, text text only border only we can put a board I could say just text I could say give me a border you know stuff like that with this one but when you get into the backdrop that's pretty interesting now, one backdrop that I tend to use quite a bit, and you notice I put a check mark in to turn it on. And I'm going to change this color to a red to help you see it better. You see the red there now? See that? I clicked off. Now, what is going on is you can't edit the backdrop unless this thing is double clicked. Now, we got a clips, rectangle, curved edge, and rounded edge. I doubt too many people will use that one, the Eclipse. Or maybe the Rectangle they might, but I mean, usually a curved edge or, you know, rounded edge, I don't know. But a curved edge is pretty cool. We can uniform the color, we can go two color gradient. Okay, so I can make my second color a yellow. And pull that in, and it'll click off. Now you see how it's got the red going into the yellow? So we got two colors. That's a gradient. Um, double click to come back. We'll hit this one over here now. Turn the backdrop on. This one will go the simple rectangle. Um, I'll run the color of highlighting green to really make it stand out. And notice the letters are kind of going off the screen where the green is, right? So again, highlight it. And we can make our width bigger. See that? So this way they don't go off the screen. So I'll go like that. And then this one, I could go maybe go a little bigger or two. And now it actually fits in the whole thing. Again, double click. I could turn off maintain aspect ratio. Um, I could even play with my opacity more if I want to make it a little bit more dimmer. All right. Now reflection is just that. It's like um, it's literally like looking in a mirror. So if I turn reflection on, you'll notice it shows up at the bottom. But one thing you've got to be aware of when you're running reflection is, let's say I'm over here, and I run that text pretty close to the bottom, like so, and then I turn my reflection on. Well, you barely see it. It pretty much disappeared. So you have to make sure if you're going to run reflection that... Um, You've got your text up high enough so it's not sitting at the bottom. Object settings. Again, make sure you get everything turned on. We can position things here. We can add keyframes. Um, we can add opacity, which means make it less apparent, you know, not as strong for seeing it. So that's kind of cool. And that covers that. I mean, I would go in here and I would actually just start messing with everything I just showed you on a real short video you made just to get the hang of messing with your texture and everything this title designer does in PowerDirector 18. Now, over here, we're going to go into Effect and Motion. So this tab is Effect. And this gives me a starting, an ending, a special, and a motion blur. So I'm going to double-click this one. And I'm going to make sure I did starting effect by clicking the arrow. And when you put your mouse over them, they start doing something. So I don't know. I'll select that one. Say yes to that box. And boom, it comes up the screen. So that's kind of cool, right? Now notice when I hit play on this, it's like, well, where is it? Like, is it even working? It's actually running super slow. It's what's going on. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to close this out. It's because I made this super long. You see this? When you make your text box super long, it's going to take a long time when it adds an animation. So shrink that baby way down. I only made it long so you could see. And then I'll hit play for you to see what I'm talking about. See now it's running out. Again. So the closer you make that text box by pulling it back, the faster it's going to be back into the designer by double clicking and I'll go into my title designer and my effect and like I said effects just allow you to do a bunch of animation stuff 
move it across the screen, make it go up, make it go down, and simply just scroll through them, put your mouse over, and they do a bunch of stuff, and you may want to use it or not use it. Okay. Close it with the arrow, because it does go down a little ways, and we have an ending effect. That's when it gets near the end of the text on the video. It'll do an effect, you know, maybe go off the screen, or maybe go down, or maybe disappear, that type of thing. That would be your ending effect. We go into special effects, and keep in mind we're editing the one that's highlighted. And we don't have a lot of special effects when it comes to text in PowerDirector 18. You know, we got some fire. Again, say yes. It'll put some fire on that purple, you know, which is kind of cool. We could go lightning. That's kind of put some lightning all through your text. How about some lights? Same thing. So that's pretty nifty, right? Let's go back over here to that one, and we're going to select motion. And don't forget to click the arrow on path. And you see all these squiggly lines, and you're like, oh, what the heck does all that mean? Really, it just means that's the direction the text is going to go. You know, and you see an arrow there, so it ends at the arrow. So this swirly one here is going to start swirling from the inside and exit out the bottom of the screen. So if I click this... You notice it even moved it. So then I'll hit play. I gotta go back. And now it's doing that circle thing, see? Enough to make you dizzy. So again, make sure you double click to be in that box to edit. So if you don't want to use that, then you can choose to click the X and then you can choose something else. But you can do hearts, you can make it zoom across the screen. Okay, so let's uh, do this one. And then it comes in like that type of thing. See that? Now you can play with these too. I mean, you see these, these over here, we can mess with it. And I'm never very good at this. See how that pulled it all in? So you could do stuff like that with it. Or run this one. Let's do number two, being we got it going up. And I want it to zing in, so let's see what that does. There goes number two. And it zings up, and then it goes that way. You, that's what I mean, but you got to kind of mess with this stuff under the tabs of motion, effect, object. And just kind of play with the settings, put some text in your designer in Pirate Director 18, and really get the hang of your text. And spend, I don't know, like maybe a good hour just playing around in here. And uh, that doesn't cover everything, that's about 90% of it. You can also start adding keyframes in that in here, and I'll get into that later in another video. I don't want to hurt your head too much. But um, knowing what's on the left and how to hit these arrows and bring it down in these tabs here will make you more proficient when you're making your videos because text is very very common and it's something we have to put in our videos all the time so you should get yourself to being an expert in here at any rate guys go check out your text in the title designer in power director 18 and hey i'll catch you on the next one